Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Yes. Make some noise if you believe that all life is sacred. It is beautiful to be able to say that and have folks who have been reflecting and have been walking this path respond and to be able to have this exchange with y'all. We will be sharing some poems, we will be sharing some songs, and we hope that this is a beginning of a conversation with y'all. And we would also like to invite y'all to use your voice during this time, to use your movement during this time. We like to see this as a collaboration. And so if you feel something, we would like to invite you into our practices. You may have heard us snapping on the side as folks are speaking uh, because it's a practice of affirmation to say I see you and I hear you. Uh, so let's, let's just warm up our fingers real quick and have a little snapping going on. And welcome y'all to that poetic tradition. Yeah. And sometimes the poem ends Right, and we just want to be like, yo, I really want you to know that what you said moved me. And we got to clap. And so sometimes we clap. So let's hear a, a round of applause real quick for each other for showing up. Yes. And to invite y'all even beyond this time, if somebody says something that moved you uh, to follow up with them afterwards and just to let them know that their words impacted you because we all need to be fed and this is not where our work ends this is where it begins so this first song I would like to invite you in I see a lot of family who have stood and sang with us mm -hmm. at the Eloy Detention Center in Arizona and also at the border. And we would like to bring in that community, the SOA Watch and the Encuentro community who are joining their voices and their movement with people who are directly impacted, people who have lost loved ones, people who still have family members and have yet to know if they're safe, if they're taken care of, we would like to ground this moment and this song in that relationship. And this is a song we've sung for the last two years as folks who were in the detention center were putting their blankets to their windows because this was in the evening to let us know that they were hearing our words. Though they couldn't sing with us, Though they couldn't stand with us, they were still with us. Mm -hmm. And so I would like y'all to repeat after me. And this is going to be some Spanglish, so I would, I would like y'all to flex your linguistic skills as well. <laughs> so the first line <clears throat> is, Oye mi gente. Oye mi gente. Traemos la fuerza. Traemos la fuerza. That's saying, hey, yo, my people, we bring the strength. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. La libertad. La libertad. Es mi única bandera. Es mi única bandera. Liberation for all is my only flag. Rise up, my people. My condor is my eagles. Rise up, my people. My condors, my eagles. Right, and that's speaking to indigenous history. Whereas in Standing Rock, we saw indigenous family connecting from all over Turtle Island, Central and South America, the eagle and the condor. And that is going to be the foundation of so much of our movement that's going to heal our country, that's going to heal our world. It's tapping into that indigenous wisdom, right? And the last line, no human being will ever be illegal. No, no human, human being will ever, ever be, be illegal. illegal. Right, y'all got it. Now let's sing it again, grounding ourselves 
in the fact that this song has been sung in the streets and will continue to be sang in the streets as long as we have air in our lungs, as long as our feet can carry us, as long as there is work to do. Oye, mi gente, traemos la fuerza. La libertad es mi única bandera. Rise up, my people, my condors, my eagles. No human being will ever be illegal. Say, oye. oye, mi gente, traemos la fuerza. La libertad es mi única bandera. Rise up, my people, my condors, my eagles. No human being will ever be illegal. Yo. Hay una sola raza, familia humana. La Pachamama canta, yo escucho sus palabras. Ella dice, basta, no va la matanza. Cálmense mis hijos, piensen en mañana. La esperanza vive en los ojos, en chiquitos. Todo el mundo es posible, ya está escrito. Like the San Patricios, fighting for the Mexicans. What's the flag? Freedom, what I represent. Que el pueblo se levante. Levante. Para todos en este instante. Bobo o ciego, veo el elefante. Por eso, pa'lante. Siempre pa'lante. Forward with no fear of a border. We know. Racism is a disorder, say master upon the quarter, leading us to the slaughter, but calling someone illegal is stupid as on water. Say, oye, mi gente, traemos la fuerza, la libertad es mi única bandera. Rise up, my people, my condors, my eagles. No human being will ever be illegal. We say no. Right. No ban and no wall. We say no. Come on. No ban and no wall. No ban and no wall. Three times. No, no, no. No ban and no wall. We say no, no, no. No ban and no wall. We say oye, mi gente, traemos la fuerza. La libertad es mi única bandera. Rise up, my people, my condors, my eagles. No human being will ever be oh, illegal. Rise up, rise up, my, my people, my condors, my eagles. No, no human being will ever be illegal. That's so. So family, this, this poem that um, I'm going to share first is called Lucero. And in New York, yeah, <laughs> you're, <laughs> in New York, where we are very proud to be from. And also recognizing that home is also where we need to do the work. Uh, we have a misperception or misconception of New York as being completely progressive and have, having shared humanitarian values which if you live in New York, you know that is not true. And so this, this poem is also in memory of someone who was killed for being who they were, for having brown skin, for looking how they looked. And this was a person who was working hard for their family, who was coming home from work who had dreams for their children and for their brothers. And that was extinguished through violence and hatred. And so I'd like to dedicate this poem to all immigrants and to all people who have had to leave home in order for a better life.
This is for the immigrant, undocumented and unrepentant, who says they ain't seeing me because my revolution is being me. They are the anti-celebrity, a hero whose power is invisibility. They are the underdogs, underdog, dog. Try working a nine to nine with no paid overtime and a bad spine. They'll redefine your definition of on the grind. They got family on the mind. What they know about depression and dismay. We've crossed rivers to get here and cried them to stay. Undocumented, but they call us illegal. Because last time I looked, it was a crime to be equal. They are neglect personified, an existence vilified, so forget stages, pens, and pages. They are soldiers waging war below minimum wages. And sage burns slow por la gente que falta. Because we remember the deception of Altahualpa. Was it worth the spoils? Their ancestors fought for gold. Their descendants fight for oil. Our blood fertilizes the soil. We resurrect in the Amazon as trees that will bring down Babylon. Though that day seems far from illegal stops asking us for green cards. But my brothers taught me a different set of colors. White man stole red man's land while using yellow man to build his railroad tram and using black hands to sow and reap the profits. So when it's said illegals don't pay taxes, I say my people have done enough to fill your pockets. See, that day seems far from those illegal stops asking us for green cards. And my brothers did taught me a set of colors. So when they set up a mortgage that I cannot afford, and I look at history and realize, ain't none of this yours. Immigration has a history of how people end up here. I'm from the Caribbean, at least that's in this hemisphere. But they look at me with a foreign fear and distaste because I'm a mischief of mixed race. And they rather I be the illegal immigrant than a Palestinian immigrant. Because the day of all our people's revolution is imminent. And on that day, we will not ask you to let us in because God already made us citizens. So peace family. Hey. So we're coming from uh, the Bronx. Uh, hey, oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> and it's such a such an honor to be here with you all. I uh, just want to say, take a moment and say thank you for all of the affirmation um, that you've shared with us as we're just walking through the through the halls. Um, that really refills the well from which we flow. So thank you for that. I want to do a piece for y'all that is rooted in those moments that we might not feel like we're enough. Um, when we might believe this, the narrative, the stories that change up the ideas of what we find valuable in this life, away from family, away from community, and into commodity or privilege. And I want to dedicate this piece to anybody right now who, like myself, is dealing with uh, depression or mental health issues where you might wake up and not want to keep going, but perhaps you have that 
that friend, that BFF who reminds you. that this life is worth living. And it's amazing that we could be that for each other. That's power, my people. That's medicine. I grew up with these guys. I've known them since uh, one of the peace poets I've known since I was three years old. That's when we formed the group. Uh, <laughs> uh, but since grade school and high school, we all grew up with each other. And um, these have been my, my teachers, my students. Um, and it's, it's been a beautiful development of our brotherhood and family that we get to do it through the spoken word as well. So check it out. <clears throat> I like to think that everything is possible. That nothing is an obstacle. That everything is optical and optimism's optimal. Because pessimism never lets you listen to the God in you. Possibility is so strange and seems so odd to you when the market had done got to you. Selling all their visions on the television, opting you to listen to your insecurities while their modules placing all that sickness and disease up inside of you. But it's never to provide for you. It's always just to bottle you, consuming all the products who really gets the benefit? Who really gets the sense of it? Let's really get a sense of it and fill it in your body, son. You are full of love and light. Spit that truth. Embody son. Because cynicism consuming all of the human in them. We stay a prison reflecting all of the lumens in them. Aimed at a system that has us down on our luck. But we're in love with our people and that's word to this luminous flux. This ain't a mic. This is the way you amplify light, so we can see our own reflections in the words that you write. And this ain't a pen, this is the way you chant your zen and meditate upon the days that you were blessed to have been. And this ain't a rap, it's a prayer call to the fact that we're bigger than our fears and their societal traps. On top of that, the world is waiting for you in this hour to realize what you are worth and quickly step into your power. It's not just about your past. We need you more than ever to forgive all of the parts of you you thought were broke and weathered. To give some of that heart that you might think just won't belong because you're too focused on your flaws and everything that you've done wrong. But we need your song. Just look around into the sea of people. It's a celebration. Bunch of spirits bathed in starlight on a quest for liberation. And sisters in your sister, see them in your brother's eyes. New dawn and day upon us, and all we have to do is rise. And the divine gave you this breath to speak and call your truth to power. In the face of all injustice and a darkness that devours, in the face of crooked cops and a violence that's systemic, it's our fate to sing our song upon this silence epidemic. And you ain't alone. Let's take this time to welcome you home to a movement born of movements within the dance of our own. Be buoying through revolution, be girding through liberation, up rocking to the solution, pop locking through occupation. Family, have you ever had a dream before? Then don't mistake it for impossible just because it's something you ain't seen before. Peace. I'm feeling so much love for you all right now. <laughs> Thank you all for receiving us in such a good way. Um, I want to actually uh, give gratitude right now for the relationships that exist in this room. Um, when I was 
uh, when I was younger, I had uh, someone be a kind of like a big, big brother figure to me and a guide in many ways. Um, and I think he's here, so I just want to shout out Nick Napolitano uh, for his good work and appreciate gratitude. <clears throat> And um, and I, I like Frankie said, like these brothers are, are my teachers, and I have another really special uh, teacher and loved one in this room who I never get to see. So I want to give a shout out to Christina Dominguez. Thank you for being the best. I always appreciate you. Yeah. <clears throat> and I really wanted to take the time to do that, um, so that actually to invite us to uh, think about the person who's in this room right now with us. Uh, who teaches us, who loves us, who gives us the strength that Frankie is talking about, that keeps us moving forward, that keeps us hanging in there. Um, and so I want us to think of that person. You can look at that person or not. That's all good. But I actually want us to all say together, I see you. I, see you. I appreciate you. I, appreciate you. I, love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Don't be, uh, you know, uh, be generous with those words. Uh, let each other know. Um, this poem is called All For You, and it's a, it's a poem I wrote for the young people that I would work with who were locked up. Um, and uh, today I want to dedicate it to one of the young men who, uh, whose name is Edwin, and he got, uh, he got sent from, from the South Bronx to upstate, and so he's still in jail right now. And right now I know a lot of our family members and friends and loved ones are locked up. Uh, and every time we gather as a community, we don't really gather uh, with all of us because of state violence, uh, because of white supremacy and, and, and imperialism and the way it lives in our lives and patriarchy. And those things, um, you know, we overcome with love and the powerful message that we get from each other. So this poem is called All For You. And uh, yeah, it's for, for everyone and for, for y'all. Here you go. This is all for you. When you locked up and hidden, I'ma call for you. I'ma smuggle in love through these walls for you. You overwhelmed because these prisons too small for you. And there's a world outside. And it's all for you. I know. Most days all we want to do is bomb my dude, but this hood's full of crack and we falling through. See, we could die, my dude, or we could rise, my dude. It's up to you, but we got to be deciding soon. And I need you to know I see divine in you. I see God in you. I see a kid who's about to beat the eyes in you, and it's time. It's time to pull up like sit-ups and finish your bit up. You've been a beginner, but it's time to be bigger. Your mind getting fitter. You faster than Twitter. Imagine a world where you were the winner, where you were the writer, where you were the fighter. Imagine New York without no one at Rikers. Imagine we righteous right here and right now. There is a world out there that's staring you down, and it's all for you. Good food, good love, and it's all for you. Good nights in the club, and it's all for you. That sun in the sky, that love in her eyes, this flow, this rhyme, and it's all for you. It is all for you. There is a world out there, and it's all for you. There's an old dude singing old tunes on the corner where his whole crew want to show you what life was like when he was so cool. <laughs> and you'd be surprised, his big broken flow, too. He tell you stories about the way it was, and it turns out he knows half your cousins. And every time you hear his mouth running, you just know this life is worth something. And he out there, he up one of them blocks, right by the woman with the beautiful locks and the beautiful skin. And she got a pool she loves to swim in. She can breaststroke, and she can backstroke, and she can freestyle. And that's facts, though, because there's whole oceans out there. There's emotions bigger than scared. There's long rivers and small islands and good people who love smiling. I know you, bro. You love wilding. Don't let them steal your free. Don't let them steal your free. 
Don't be silent. Your free mind is the real ride because they can't buy it and they can't set it. So when you spit, you rebel and I'm telling you to survive. What I'm telling you is survive. That real you that can heal you that you keep buried inside. And that right there, that's real work. When you real mad, when you real hurt, you want to burn this shit down and fight back. Love your brother because he's black. Or he's brown, or he's white, but he by your side and he down to fight for your human rights. Son, I'm here to ask you to fight. No closed fist and no dumb ish. No, I'm here to ask you to write. And I know I don't know your plight, but I know your soul's full of light. So write, brother, just write, brother, and we gonna be all right. Because there's rooftops and there's sunsets. There's smart people and dumb sex. There's some regrets that are just worth it. There's real sweat from real working. There's satisfaction, there's love and action. There's hands to heal all the hurting. There's late nights full of laughter and there's daydreaming about it after. There's books of words you ain't never heard but you can still learn how to use them. Cause there's languages full of fusion. There's clarity and confusion. There's soft skin and there's hot sand. And there's a chance to heal upon this land. There is good music and traffic. There's heartbreak and there's havoc. There's some love that's so good that you'll start believing in magic. And it's tragic when you can't have it. And I get you getting mad at it. But the good news is that y'all cool because real soon that's all you. Only you can write your song. So write that down strong. You know Destiny, she just called for you. She said there's a world out there and it's all for you. Thank you. Yes. So I want to give y'all an option real quick because I definitely got caught up emotionally in my last piece. Um, and I wanted to ask y'all whether you would like me to share with you this next piece, uh, which you haven't heard, called Power Concedes, uh, or if you would like me to um, have an opportunity to finish the first piece I shared uh, after having uh, a little bit of time to process it emotionally. So if, if you... <laughs> All right. Let's do it. I'll start with the, with the, with the one I was going to do this round. Um, and it's... Inspired by the words of Frederick Douglass. Yeah, make some noise for the ancestors. Exactly. He has one of the most poignant lines uh, in regards to liberation, which is power concedes nothing without demand. And so I wrote this piece uh, as the uprising in Ferguson was happening. <clears throat> and I would like to dedicate this piece also to all the organizers um, on the ground level, making things happen, uh, getting the rest of us in the streets with art, with song, with resources. This piece is for you. <clears throat> Power concedes nothing without demand. That means you're gonna get your freedom from your very own hands. Cause the man at the top is death to your plight. He's got nightmares of when the people unite. Labor, it's not just a name to me. It's why Americans invested in slavery. These capers led to hundreds of years of free labor that we paid for while they were stacking that free paper. Freedom 
through blood, bone, sweat, and soot. Because when you sow all season, you want a piece of that fruit. Truth. This is my way to honor it. Freedom happens because of liberation movements, not a serendipitous change of consciousness. And what is freedom if not the right to work? Our right to work the angles and right what hurts. Power conceives nothing without force of will. Don't believe me. Ask the workers who were coerced and killed. At Haymarket Square, workers were hurt at will. All for a few more freedoms to work a drill. Such a novel idea to work than chill. The bourgeoisie are afraid of what time reveals. The truth is they don't own anything. They steal. Because when workers spend their life constructing, who owns the steel? Traded in their lives for a few measly meals while they intimidate unions for a few measly deals. We must see the forces. That's why they keep blinders on horses. Power concedes nothing if you ask it a favor. Not even babies are safe. It took a movement to regulate child labor. Still becoming the country that we're yearning to be, just in 93 got unpaid maternity leave. Everything has a history. 40-hour work week, vacation, sick days. You're taking off work? That's why they enslaved. And I still see the current schism, because slavery still exists. It exists in prison. If freedom isn't tied to the way we make a living, we construct our own hell in which we live in. Power concedes nothing if you want its pity. When was the last time we ate out in the city? Who do they keep exploited in the back of the kitchen? Those who they pay below minimum wage for a living. America's dirty secret. We hate immigrants, but love their cheap labor. but love their cheap labor. Our economic policies force them out their countries, but we ask them for green papers. <laughs> Our fear is that the next stop is transforming the world into a global sweatshop. Power concedes nothing without demand. And if you don't keep your rights by your fist, they just might fall out your hands. Thank you. All right, family, we got a special treat for everybody out here who is doing some, so much amazing work as an individual, as an organizer. Uh, one of the most precious things we can always do is teach that important skill. Uh, and there's a, a couple young people I want to bring up to the stage right now. So give it up for Karina and Miko real quick. If y'all could come on up. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So... Uh, you're about to learn a song, and that song we're going to bring to action tomorrow on the street. So uh, this is not time to be shy. This is time to not worry about how you sound. It's time to sing it like you mean it. So give it up one time for these two amazing young sisters who are about to teach you a great song. This is an original song they wrote that they're about to bless y'all with so we can use it in action tomorrow morning. I said, make some noise, y'all. Okay, hi, everybody. My name's Mika. Um, so just a little background behind this song. Um, we're from Seattle University, and 
Um, yeah. A question that was asked to us was what drives us to be here, and an image that came to our mind was a light. Um, so you'll hear in the first line of the song that we call in this image of walking into the light. Um, and amidst like all the darkness in the world, you know, we were called to be that light for others. So um, the first line, it, um, I'll read them and then have you guys repeat them back to me. So come into the light. Come into the light. Together we will fight. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. For justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Rising with the sun. Nice. Okay. So um, Karina and I here are going to sing it first and then. Yes. Um, Karina and I are going to sing and then sing it once and then we'll have you all join us after. So it goes a little something like this. Come into the light. Together we will fight for justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Come into the light. Together we will fight. Together we will fight. For justice and for, for love. For justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Rising with the sun. We come into the light. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Come into the light. Come into the light. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. Justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Rising with the sun. A little louder. Come into the light. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Come to where? Come into the light. What? Together we will fight. For what? For justice and for love. How are we going to do it? Rising with the sun. We come into the light. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. Rising with the Let's do it two more times. Come into the light. Sing it loud. Together we will fight. Let me hear y'all. For justice, justice and for love. Let's so Rising with the sun. Do it one more time. Come, Come into, into the, the light. Let's go. Together we will fight. For justice and for love. Rising with the sun. Thank you. Give it up for Mika and Karina. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all down to sing that tomorrow in the streets or what? Make some noise, y'all. <clears throat> I just want us to really quickly just internalize it. Those amazing young leaders just composed that song, practiced leading it, made a melody, practiced leading it, and just had 2,000 people singing it. And that's what we are capable of. So make some noise for them and for yourselves. Never alone. Never alone. <clears throat> we were asked a great question earlier today. It was, what, are the, what do you hope that all the people who came out here know when we leave? Uh, and that some of what we talked about was we hope that you are so deeply rooted that we need, we need your courage and your creativity. That y'all need each other's courage and creativity that our future generations desperately need your courage, and your creativity. The land and the water need your courage and your creativity. And so if you're ready to accept that responsibility, if you're ready to tap into the endless power that is within all of creation, that is gifted to us by our ancestors who came before us, if you're ready to honor that, then I'm going to invite y'all to sing with us. And if you're comfortable and able to do so, we invite you to stand with us. We have one more song. Yes. <clears throat> so we definitely want to invite y'all to sing with us. And again, feel free. If you got some harmony up in there if you, that you want to throw in, go ahead. 
So, and if you want to move your body with this, feel free as well. So if you could repeat after me, it goes like this. I have not come here alone. I have not come here alone. I carry my people in my bones. I carry my people in my bones. I have not come here alone. I have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them in my soul. And if you listen, you can hear them in my soul. All right, this is going to be beautiful, y'all. <laughs> All right. I have not come here alone. Uh. I carry my people in my bones. That's right. Uh, I have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them in my soul. Say, I have not. I have not come here alone. Come here alone. Say, I carry my people. I carry my people in my bones. Sing it like you mean it. I have not. I have not. I have not. Come here alone, and if you listen, you can hear them in my soul. Uh, right. I'm not alone like our people at, at a graduation. graduation. They call your name, you hear the call, it's, it's a, a celebration. celebration. Rooted in culture, traditions of libation. Stolen black gold, spread through many nations. So many iterations, we are the variations. But at large, we don't understand the situation. Love is simple, but we're caught, caught up, up in, in the, the complications. complications. I am not alone, I feel myself in your vibration. Showing up loud with my grandmother's voice. Uh -huh. Coming through calm with my old man's poise. In case you're wondering who making all the noise, who? I'm coming with the hood. Who taught me King Soy? I'm, I'm from a long line of activistas, breaking down the borders of imperialistas. We don't die, we multiply. We a million more times than me, the I. I have not Sing that. come here alone. Say no, 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 people. no. Carry my people in my bones. Come Sing, on. I have, uh. not. I, have not I have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them in my soul. Check it out. Uh, I sit back and reflect on Jacob Vada, Vada, Malcolm Martin, and Frederick D. Huey, Huey P. and Asada, Nelson, Jesus, Muhammad, Ghani, and the Soldier, Soldier and the Truth. Truth. All the mamas and the papas out here, Steady raising, raising our youth, youth. playing seeds because you know of our roots. With our hands in the land, so we bearing, bearing this fruit. fruit. Atta Bay calling out, telling us we arrived. Look deep in your eyes and realize I have, have not come on, come here alone. alone. No, 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 carry my people. In my bones, bones. say right. I have not, I, I have, not, have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them. In my Let's do that again. Come on, I have not, I have not. Let me hear y'all. Come here alone. You can sing it louder than that. I can my people. What? In my bones. Sing that for your ancestors. I have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them in We're going to drop the clap one more time, saying, I have not come here alone. Sing it to each other. I, I carry my, my people in my bones. Sing, I have not, I have not, have not come here alone. And if you listen, you can hear them in my Sing soul. that last line. If you listen, you can hear them in my soul. Sing it one more time. If you listen, you can hear them in my soul. Thank you. Family, we are the Peace Boys. It's been an honor to rock for you, to connect to you. We love y'all so much. We got some poetry books and some music at the registration table. Um, please, if you want to take a piece of our art and our, our hearts home, which you do that, uh, and connect to us. Palante, siempre palante. Gracias.